All right, here we go. So. Making the way downtown. So, mech combat's pretty cool. Um, don't want to fight him. Wait, can I change my mech colors yet? No. Wait till you get the color customization. Guess what color I want, went with, everyone? Guess. I'll give you a hint. It's not in the rainbow. Um, how do I fucking get over there? Oh, that's how. Yeah, you can't, you can't lift off. So, switch to gear 2, we do more damage, uh, let's inflict poison, because I'm toxic. And then piercer. Damn, that guy was weak. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Look at these guys. I don't even have to switch to a uh, gear two for you little shits. <laughs> That's the best in this game. If you roll up on some enemies that are very clearly supposed to be, uh, you fight them, you know, on foot, in your mech, you just fucking just butter their biscuit. Oh god. Has, uh, okay. So, General Godfrey is charging up an attack right now. We have to interrupt that shit. Our prisoners have stolen an airship. Celestia's... <laughs> Celestia's baggage? Hmm, take them down. <laughs> it's the princess. Princess Celestia appears to be on the ship. What is she thinking? Your command, your highness. Blow her up. No choice but to ignore them. Concentrate on General Godfrey. There you go. As you command. Look over here, it's the Pegasus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't even have to look to feel all that aether that is being channeled. Okay, so this is crazy. So remember, General Godfrey was um, experimented on. Um, he's been channeling this spell for a while. Uh, he's kind of like super powered at this point because they're infusing um, the power of the Grime War in uh, all of the, uh, like the knights, I guess, like whatever Frederick's. Uh, generals this ether this is not a power a human should be able to wield uh, and right behind him is a purple sky armor that is our target can you hear me have you discovered the grimoire look uh, to your right general godfrey seems to be casting a powerful spell right now behind the sky armor carrying the grand grimoire you know what you should do you should fucking blow up his sky armor and then it would trigger an explosion and we'd kill all these people and then the game would be over Oh god. So yeah, he just uh, he just gave him the old hyper beam and killed everything. Uh, so that was the so what you just saw was the other the opposing fleet. Um, and yeah, just uh, just demolished them. They're gone. That was no common spell. Something tells me that uh, Guan tinkered with it. Um, Glenn, the general, is getting into his sky armor. He's going to try and use the Grand Grimoire behind enemy lines. Not if I get to him first. There we go. I was supposed to go back and actually grab more treasure chests. Um, I actually ended up leaving too early. Um, so I made a mistake. I think it was only like just like basic shit like uh, heals for your mech. But um, don't be like me. Finished exploring the area. Uh, I'm going to actually just... Do this. Now 
Now this is the combat I can get behind. You hit me, I hit you. We kind of just sit there. Oh. Who the heck is this pilot? He fights like a madman. Nah, I'm just like literally doing one attack while you guys just kind of sit there. Knights attacking a sky armor in mid air. They're dragoons. They're too fast. Valkyries. Are they flying? Magically, magically enhanced jumping, power, and gliding. They are an anti sky armor unit. We have to do something about them. Get me closer to Glenn. What do you plan to do? The commander of the Valkyries is traditionally the highest ranking female member of the royal house. In other words, me. Oh, she's gonna do something? I can't do anything. I just fucking killed all of them. Go, Glenn, this is a chance. Alright. Why does she do that stuff with us? Find an opening, bring the grind more behind enemy lines and smash it. Find an opening. Okay. I'm almost there. I hope the stone really spares its user. Stop right there. Who are you? What do you want? My business is with the stone. Give it to me and I'll spare you. How foolish. Naivety guides your tongue. Then let me speak with my sword. Alright. So we're going to start it off with some good old fashioned poison. And then we're going to switch over to gear 2. Start piercing. TP, recharge. Then we gotta go back here. Uh, I'm gonna do a repair kit. I have it. Fool, what are you thinking? You should have left the stone alone. I'm trying to save people. Look out! Why is Terran shooting at me? We're close enough to the enemy. They want to shatter the Grand Grimoire. No! I won't let them. The events of Warnshire will not repeat. Yeah, it will. They shot it out of his hand. And, uh, a big boom happened, as we can tell. This poor guy, he's now linked to two, not one, but two massive, like, apocalyptic explosions. The Grand Grimoire has detonated on ground level, your highness. Is this your doing? Why have you forsaken me? Shut up, Frederick. Stupid bitch. No one likes you. Little yee-ass haircut. What a terrible weapon. 
It is unimaginable that such destructive power is in the hands of a human. Our faith promotes technical development and thus the prosperity of this world, but sometimes this development scares me. You're wrong, Eva. That weapon is beyond something a human could ever develop. It's the power of God. Oh, you guys see that? Even the sky was pissed. So they finally show themselves. What do you mean, my beloved? Open up your eyes, stupid idiot. You cannot see them, but their never-blinking gaze is searching for the stone. The gods are getting nervous. Once again, their weapon has been used without their consent. If they are gods, why don't they take the grimoire back? Because they do not care about the stone itself. You must know that in history of Eldria and the history of Eldria, uh, there has never been a people of greater pride than them. The theft was the worst insult they had they ever had to suffer. All they care about is finding the thief who stole it and taking reven revenge for the shame he spilled upon them. And do you think they will uh, find you? Oh yeah, because it was you. You underestimate me. Even the gods don't scare you. How else uh, would I be able to kill them? There's only one force I fear. Fear itself, right? Time. Oh. I also think sharks are kind of scary. Look at me, once again. I'm failing while the world around me collapses. Glenn, you can't... Oh yeah, Glenn's, Glenn's probably not feeling too hot right now. Leave me alone. I know that you... I don't want to hear it. How could something like this happen to me twice? What kind of game is fate playing with me? Uh, what am I even saying? Fate has nothing to do with it. It's no one's fault but mine. Killian was right. What good can I do on my own? Don't come near me. I am death incarnate. I am. I am. What am I even? Cool. Alright, so we finished the first act. Uh, it, the act ends, as you see, on a very happy note. Even without the most powerful weapon, the Grand Grimoire, Terran was able to destroy Escania's fleet. The Grand Grimoire's explosion still had an effect, however, intimidating the remaining troops all over the country. By the time Prince Frederick's first foot soldiers marched across Roland, Escania had already surrendered. For the first time in the long history of Volandis, the country found itself united under a single ruler. Two days after the end of the war, King uh, Valin the third of Terran died and his son Frederick took the royal crown. But this was not to be the end of the bloodshed on Volandis. Oh yeah, it's about to get real dark. Um, since time immemorial, uh, immemorial, the kingdoms of Nebrelia to the west and the Arns, Arnsreich to the east eyed Volandis as a strategically astute stronghold, only Nebrelia's eternal civil war and uh, Arnsreich pacifist king have so far spared the land of invasion. I'm trying to remember who was the Arnsreich, the Arnsreich leader. Is that the church? I think it is, right? I, I, I can't remember now. We'll, we'll find out. Um, but with the appointment of uh, Dreklar, the, what is that? The uh, 14th? As King of Nobrelia, the Civil War has ended. Now one of the largest armies of Eldria is mobilizing against Volandis. Instead of lowering taxes for his people, King Frederick found himself forced to raise levies once again. Able-bodied men were drafted from every corner of the country. As a result, public discontent reached a new high, even among his own countrymen. The first resistors were soon rallying. Yeah. Oh boy. Welcome to your new home, HO3, or 03. How do you like it? Much better than that pile of dirt we found you in, right? I have some preparations to make. You'll need a hot bath and a pair of new clothes. How about you make yourself acquainted with this place? I will, thank you very much, madam. What a lovely, well-behaved lady you are. We will get along splendidly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. 
H3. Jeez. So look at all these Bible thumpers. These churchgoers. Don't have a map. Alright. So, does anyone know who this is? H3. Alright. She runs kind of funny. They all kind of run funny. Not Timothy with the man bun. Um, well, has the sight already burned itself into your mind? What do you mean, sir? There are paintings all over the castle with the same motif. Uh, as you've no doubt noticed, a building under a giant tree on an island in the sky. Unmistakably the same place. You'll find this place depicted in some form or, or, or another in every corner of the castle, and you'll probably make several trips there in person. And all this just so you won't forget this place. <laughs> so that I don't forget it. No matter how many centuries pass, no matter how many times you are reborn, this sanctuary on Shambhala shall be a guiding light in your memories. It's a place designed uh, to last for millennia. What's there? You will find all kinds of tools for your mission there, and you can make contact with the vein. Vein. All very confusing, isn't it? Don't worry, H3. You'll understand everything little by little. May I ask to whom I am speaking with? Oh god, how rude. I'm Timothy. I'm being trained as a teacher for the Leonard Covenant. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. But first, I have a question of my own. What would that be? What's your real name? Is there something wrong? No, it's just I haven't been asked that in a long time. Excuse me, my name is Len. <gasps> dun dun dun! Len. Well, there's a, uh, a good collaboration. Oh, well, here's two good cavalry. Sorry. Uh, thank you. But I thought Len was a, uh, a foxy ginger. That dream again. Was it my echo from a past life? Pretty much. Timothy. He feels so s familiar. Who do you guys think Timothy is? We're almost there. Hopefully Sir Victor is right and we're able to find him. I wonder if he'll even join us. It's been three months since the blast. I'm sure Glenn has made a decision. Well, we'll see. Everybody get ready to land. It might get bumpy. All right, so now we just need a few groceries. Pita and Huri want to eat pancakes, so I guess we have to buy some wheat. Leo wants some fruits. Might as well grab some uh, bonanzas. Or does he prefer dapples? I've had enough, Glenn. Can I go back? Here's your idea to accompany me shopping. I know, but it's boring, please. I know the way back. Well, you're a big boy, so I guess you can return on your own. Nice, until later. All right, um, this is fine. So we're not fighting anymore. We just settled down and we had some children, uh, like five to be exact. Flandern is pretty wealthy, uh, so our shelves are nicely filled. Here you go, thank you for shopping with us. Okay, now back to the children. Who is this boy? I haven't seen him before. That kid appeared here three months ago, almost starved to death, but declined any offer for food. I bet he's another victim of this war, probably. Anyway, he's living now in the abandoned mansion of the West. Uh, in that spooky place all alone? Supposedly not. He told Parkos that he's taking care of some orphans there. Oh, is he now? Interesting. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's mosey. Gonna do some quick exploring. 
the king just can't raise all the taxes. At least he should have spared us uh, uh, Terranians. Yeah. Where are we, by the way? Okay, so we're over here. This map, we actually didn't get a chance to um, completely explore. That's the wrong way. All right. Hey. Oh, he actually gave me a meal. I'm just gonna walk into your house and start talking to you. It's terrifying. I had somebody come to my house today to try and sell me solar panels, and uh. It was rough, because I really wanted to stop talking to them and say I'm not interested, but I ended up hearing them out, their whole spiel. And they are like, why don't you want solar panels? And I was like, I don't want them. What else do you want me to say? It just got really awkward, because like, <laughs> I don't want them, sir. This is really weird that her house has like an underground chamber like this. So blueprint and festival ribbon. Deals 10% more damage against machine and dark resistance power. I don't care about the other one Oh, never mind. I'm gonna say we have to switch up our party. I'm like, we're not even in the party anymore. We're, uh. We're on our Mother Teresa shit. have the ability to control the temperature of your house um, as well as a bunch of other stuff from the app that I have but it does take a while to, uh, to load yeah Lord Gustav once revolted against King uh, Valin the third there was a fierce battle and Lord Gustav lost King showed mercy and let him live. However, the tributes were increased, and his son Rob was sent to the. Yeah, so that's basically what happened to Rob. Rob was like a little, uh, a little slave. He's on the bigger and better things. He just like blew up a continent and now he's making orphans pancakes. I mean, sometimes you gotta just, uh, you know, have a career change like that. Like, you know, he went from like a distributor of doom to 
Yeah, he's just, he's running in a little orphanage. An abandoned mansion. A good place to die as any other. Ah. Another nightmare. Looks like my body needs food, huh? I don't think there is anything here. I should just starve to death. There's no meaning to my life anyway. Keep quiet already. Please help us. Oh, there are five kids. Children, do you have something to drink? What are you kids doing in a place like this at this hour? We're hungry. We're lonely. There's no one to take care of us. Can you take care of us? Me? I don't think I can be of much help. Then we will die, just as the others. I don't want to die. Maybe. Maybe there's some canned food here. And then they all ate puppy chow. And lived happily ever after. Peter, stop it. Get off the swing now. It's my turn. Mirage. It's not realistic. He's been on it for a hundred hours. There you go. Wait, they're gonna have me go through this whole thing again. This little shit. Did you get what I wanted? Alright, so he wanted pancakes. It's a nice house. You all made fun of me for being smaller than him. Do you think I will grow taller? Be a scar armor pilot because their size uh, and to save energy. Only people of certain height are being drafted. Sky armor pilot. Do you think it's a sky? Yeah. Okay. This could suck. Shitty brats. Uh, I gotta get that chest. There's a way. I know it. Alright, so I have to find a way over there. How long are you going to keep this up, Glenn? You again. Are they the solution to your problem, these kids? You think this is going to make up for anything? No, I know it's not the solution, but it's the only thing I can do right now. That's not true. You could shut up. Why should I listen to you? I don't even. Uh, you don't even tell me who you are or what you want or why I'm able to hear your voice. Yeah, that'll shut them up. These kids, your voice, maybe I'm just starting to go crazy. That must be it. I'm, I'm tired. I wanted to get the, the chest. A new day. Can I really stay here any longer? Alright, so there's a way to get over there. And I'm gonna find it. There's got to be like an opening, right? Can I go past this? Oh, I can. God damn it. They make it look like you can't. Got a brake extender. I finally found you. What the fuck? How'd you find me? Sir Victor. So this is where you spent the last three months. Pretty lonely place. How are you doing? I'm okay, I guess, compared to where I was three months ago. But tell me, why are you here? Just visiting an old friend and... Ah, forget it. Truth be told, I'm here because our battle isn't over yet and we need you, Glenn. Terran will not stop using the grind war against humanity. Len, Rob, Bathraz, and even Sienna, they are still on our side. We're not done with our mission yet, so come with me. What is a good for nothing like me going to be able to do for you? I've seen your fighting skills in a sky armor. You defeated your opponents effortlessly. Uh, then you must have also seen me destroy an entire swath of land as well. Glenn, it was terrible indeed, but do you want to hide here for the rest of your life? Are you going to keep running away from the truth? Running away from the truth? 
No. I've been thinking uh, for the last three months, I've come to a conclusion, you know, when the grimoire first exploded by my sword, I wasn't to blame, and since I wasn't, I was able to hide in a hut for a year and try to push the images out of my head. I didn't owe it to anyone to do anything. Now the situation is different. I can't deny the guilt, and it weighs heavily on me. I would love to pay for my mistake with my life, but that's not possible. My life doesn't belong to me anymore, it belongs to the deceased. Even though I would not like to hide from the world, I can't do... Oh, even I would like to hide from the world. I can't do that. I have to go out and help the people I owe it to the dead. Then you'll come with me. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I, uh, I'm i not sure your path is the right way. We can stop a weapon of mass destruction. You can't do any better than that to help the people out here. Yeah. Maybe. I'm afraid of making others a mistake. I can't carry any more weight. But if you're not carrying the burden alone, Glenn, um, back then, we all made this thing to seal the grind war together. We were all to blame for what happened, and that's why we have to make it right. Together, come with us. Could you give me a moment? Sure. Are you going to abandon us? I'm not abandoning you. Then you have to stay here. We need you. You need me, but... You're not even real. Oh God, he's going crazy. That's a lie. You're nothing but an illusion of my mind. If I stay here any longer, I'll only go crazier. Look at me. I'm either talking to ghosts or a voice inside my head. We need you. Do you? No, it's the other way around, isn't it? You don't need me, I need you. You're the, the lie I live with here, yeah. Damn, you're just spiriting away these motherfuckers. It's your fault. You killed them. Fuck. Anytime they start playing this song, you know shit's about to go down. Not PETA. Reasonable decision. Well, I still got you, I guess. Yeah, so he's kind of losing it. Here, have some chocolate. Thank you, mister. So, Victor. Ah, Glenn, there you are. You can see the child? Oh, where do you go? Well, I can't see him anymore. Kids these days are surely fast. So, they, they were ghosts. It's cool. He's just living in a haunted mansion. I made my decision. I'm coming with you. I want to face the truth. We all got mechs. That's the X200, Zero, Sky Armors, Models, Paris, Merlin, uh, Ag Agamemnon, and Ovilia. Agnamon. Agnamon. So Victor didn't spare any effort. He was sure they would persuade you to come with us. Sienna, you're really helping Sir Victor? She sought me out uh, of her own accord and offered to help. Can you believe that? Am I not generous? I offer my airship and myself as a capable fighter and a, a pilot to our cause. Isn't that a great deal? And most surprising, she didn't want anything in return. Sir, just laugh at my generosity. Uh, I'll get my paycheck somehow. Worst case, uh, you will have our gratitude. Wonderful. I wonder what shops I'll be able to spend this gratitude of yours at. The not dawdle. The Himmelskaiser is not safely parked. Bathars, Bathras, sorry. Um, so you're still supporting us too. We have a contract to abide by, don't we, Victor? That's right. He dances to my tune, and you know I'm a pretty musical kind of guy. Ah, you fucking losers. Um, get in the sky armor. Okay. So this is gonna be really fun. So this is the point in the game where. The whole continent is going to open up, and we can fly around, and we also get mechs. I'm excited. Everybody gets their own gun. Well, actually, there's only four pilots. Um, here it is. So only four pilots um, that we have. And we actually have to... We're going to leave everyone with what they have. Uh, we don't have any RAM yet. RAM is basically like the accessories. 
And we want to go... Uh, let's go black. For you. Let's do... Gotta pick something cool. God damn! Um, we'll do White Knight for you, sure. Something colorful for uh, the Thraz, since he's our magic. Uh, sure. And then you, I like red, because that's just all about the red. Here we go. Cool. Whee! Alright, so... This is awesome. Uh, let's just sell. Uh, so we have to take all the stuff that we have. Um, that was he had here. So we can't do the sword anymore. So he's out of the party. He's off the team. Um, let's just do all the you, uh, all the loot. There we go. God damn it! Do that. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Another breastplate. Uh, my attack will go down a little bit. Um, we'll wait to equip that. Yeah, but now we got max. Let's go. So this is an enemy that if we tried to fight on foot, they would completely demolish us. All right. So Sienna hit him with the old uh, sweeperoni. Yeah, their attacks right now kind of suck. more magic based so it would make sense to well oh, and it's also elemental and they're weak to it yeah so gear two is what um i switched to to do more damage uh you use more tp um but you also take more damage too so just gotta be careful i right, keep him in gear one just to move things along uh, you're probably gonna... Um, yeah, let's see. There we go. Got him. Yeah, it's just, um... Delicate dance. Yeah, the um the mech combat is uh it's good. I like it. Can't really say a lot I don't like about it. Moving along. Oh, I forgot to cut this recording. Oopsies.